All truths are easy to understand once they are discovered. The point is to discover them. The laws of nature are written by the hand of God in the language of mathematics. You can't teach anybody anything. Only make them realize the answers are already inside them. I have never met a man so ignorant that I couldn't learn something from him. In the sciences, the authority of thousands of opinions is not worth as much as one tiny spark of reason in an individual man. Knowing thyself, that is the greatest wisdom. I do not feel obliged to believe that the same God who has endowed us with senses, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego their use. Nothing can be taught to a man, only it's possibly to help him to discover it inside. To understand the universe, you must understand the language in which it's written, the language of mathematics. To be humane, we must ever be ready to pronounce that wise, ingenious and modest statement, I do not know. Two truths cannot contradict one another. Holy Writ was intended to teach men how to go to heaven not how the heavens go. The sun, with all those planets revolving around it and dependent on it, can still ripen a bunch of grapes as if it had nothing else in the universe to do. It vexes me when they would constrain science by the authority of the scriptures, and yet do not consider themselves bound to answer reason and experiment. Measure what can be measured, and make measurable what cannot be measured. Some, merely to contradict what I had said, did not scruple to cast doubt upon things they had seen with their own eyes again and again. There are those who reason well, but they are greatly outnumbered by those who reason badly. I would beg the wise and learned fathers of the church to consider with all diligence the difference which exists between matters of mere opinion and matters of demonstration. I think that in the discussion of natural problems we ought to begin not with the scriptures, but with experiments and demonstrations. If you could see the earth illuminated when you were in a place as dark as night, it would look to you more splendid than the moon. Nonetheless, it moves. The greatest wisdom is to get to know oneself. You cannot teach a person something he does not already know. You can only bring what he does know to his awareness. The Bible shows the way to go to heaven, not the way the heavens go. Nature does not act by means of many things when it can do so by means of a few.